Hello, today I'm gonna give brief introduction to LFP Hopman algorithm. So, a basic idea of Hopman algorithm is to make an optimal tree for the message that is already saved. Okay. So, uh, what is the problem basically? Uh, in Hopman coding, uh, what we can do, we can uh, make a dynamic change in Hopman tree both sides. Because if uh, if we will add a one symbol more to a Hopman tree, its sibling property may be violated. So, what is sibling property? Uh, that uh, left hand sibling should be uh, less than right hand sibling. Okay. So, suppose this is a basic Hopman tree, and uh, we want to update B. So, uh, when we will update B, similarly, uh, number four will be updated here, and number seven will be updated here. Number 22 will be updated here and 33. Number 11, 33 will be updated here. But the sibling property here 6 is greater than 5. It is violated. Okay. So this is basically problem. So how we will solve it? So we will uh, use AppSec algorithm. It works in two phases. In first phase, original tree is transformed into another valid half entry. And in second phase, we will increment the value of nodes. Okay, I will explain this figure like this. Uh, suppose there is a node B uh, whose value we have to update. So first we will swap uh, the ancestor of uh, parent of B with this A. Right? Okay. Now other uh, where other effect can we uh, can eleven so we will swap this also. After this swapping, we will increment b. So this is the second phase. Uh, Four plus two six, six twelve, thirteen, and sibling property is also not violated. So the two phase procedure builds a valid Hopman tree for t plus one symbol as the sibling property is also satisfied. Okay. In fact, uh, basically how this happen is uh, because we have swapped some sibling so to maintain a uh, sibling property we have swapped some sub uh, tree to other sub tree so that it is a uh, sibling property may be satisfied okay thanks for that